<gasps> hey, that's the same as Lord of Dredge. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's Disney cool. Yeah, cool. That looked fast. Yeah, I mean, it, it did look cool. It's... I don't know if it's a. Ugh, autosave. <laughs> you hate autosave, and it's funny. Because I want to be in control, and the game's like, you can't. So this is Killer Frequency. A horror puzzle game. First person horror puzzle game set in 1987. Right? Right. I forgot almost again. Yeah. You got it. I go. Oh, look how cool that was. Did you see the wavy thing? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Move the camera with the mouse. Wes. Picking up objects. Snatch the bottle. Oh, oh. throw. We're thirsty. You can hold two objects, swap objects between hands. Have to drop R to throw. Fucking A. <laughs> place objects. Release one in a valid location. A valid location. Ooh. Okay. Oh, we're throwing nice. it out. Oh, That's so go. nice. There you go. Nice. Save the earth. Good shot. Okay, close. I guess you don't yeah. have to. What was R again? So F was throw. Wow, that sounds. Oh. Is that, is that somebody whistling? That is definitely somebody whistling. It's... Let's just say I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna press E to be inspecting. B. We're inspecting. Hold the new to rotate the object while inspecting. Okay, so we need to pick it up. Not this. You want to pick you this up? You need to write up on it. Oh, yep. So we hold E to inspect him. Oh my god. Wait, uh, hold, hold the left click. Oh, there you geez. go. K fam. K fam. Throw it. Oh. <laughs> you gonna throw the mug? Oh, you, you know just throw, gonna... throw it on the floor. Don't go in there? I guess not. Why are we in an alleyway? I don't know. Crouch. Oh. Snicky, snicky. Why does it have to be that way? Shift it on, I'm yeah. sure. This is complex already. It's fine, it's Holding fine. Holding move objects, direct. Yeah, so grab and then... Whoa, you like ripped that open. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, oh. oh. Excuse you. Can we move? <laughs> Hi. Jeez. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. I like a killer shot. You hear see that? Pikey? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard yeah, someone yelling, sure. or I don't know. Yeah, it was us getting how? killed. Forrest, is this a joke? Mm. No, I, <laughs> oh. I almost swore Do I heard it. something. Oh, and yeah, here I was thinking you'd oh. finally started to, to ease up. Mean. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? Ooh. You know, Does four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, oh, does cat have a problem or something? Problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Pre Seriously, checks. No, do we have Peggy, to do these I'm checks busy. every time? We're playing and hoops. Do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, <laughs> and he pays us oh. to call it oh. a pre-flight check. Ooh. But if you're sure huh. you don't want to, I'll do the check. All right, look, go, look, look up. Uh, oh. Do I need a tutorial on how to use the D? <laughs> yeah, we do. Let's, let's do the checks. Let's skip. We don't know. All right, we don't fine. know Jack. We're let's get through DJs. this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. <laughs> let's start with record playing. <sighs> I already okay. got that. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and Which hit play. Which one do we want? Easy. Stab in the twilight, knife and X. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Hang up. What do you think? The late night. Uh, players. Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Chill out, Peggy. We're busy. What do you think? 
Stabby. Stab the twilight. So that's what right. uh, over there. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Isn't it? The record oh, box is on the left, <laughs> and the record player is on the right. I understand. Pick a record that. and stick it on the turntable. Then hit play. There we go. Didn't I stick it on there? No. Stick it. Was it? Was it F? I'm hitting F. Nothing's happening. No. <laughs> Just looking at it that way. Oh. There we oh, go. there you go. Got it. This is why we needed hit, the hit, hit the play. Got it. Boom. All right. Super 80s. Great. Now turn it off. Oh. Peggy. What was the point? We're trying to stab that twilight. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Okay. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Hmm. The Blakeys. Line one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Jump Captain Donald on. Key calling. Call me Don. Hello, you get it? Donald. Yeah, it's a riot. <clears throat> Great, and button two works just the same. <laughs> so, let's move to the Peggy button. Oh, that's You mean the producer button. line? Like I said, the Peggy thing. button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy it's mute a lot, button? So. They haven't invented <laughs> Peggy. it yet. Now, come Probably. on. The Peggy button is the third one, yeah, the one on the says phone line. Press for Peggy. I labeled okay. it for you. Yeah, noticed. <sighs> press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. <laughs> Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. Mm. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. What are we blasting? It's already up. Blast them uh, all, I guess. This is a sound blaster? Probably not. Is it? Hang on. Turn back. Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the oh. right. No, whack something. One eighty nine point six. Oh, there we so go. Sad. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. Yeah, These should let you affect pretty slide. much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Oh shit! I wanted the lurker one. Oh well. Change the volume? I want it all the way I think hit play first. Oh. Try doing the, the one. I don't know. This one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? That's a lot. <laughs> we sure are. That'll be fine. Coming in we'll for landing. Local You'll time? get the hang of it. I ah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. This is all I care it's about. my fun <laughs> side that gets me in trouble. Whoa, way too strong now, there. Now let's homie. get the show yeah, started. Too, After your introduction, our first segment <laughs> is Ooh. guess that scream. Guess that scream. I okay. Thought guess that was scream. a joke. Nope. And don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Ay ay ay. Okay, so you're Reggie's live in three, two, one. I'm gonna mess it up. One eighty nine point sixteen. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to one eighty nine point sixteen. The Scream. Can you just leave the Before we start taking your calls <laughs> tonight really on Gallows Creek's like, only late night mic. phone in talk I show, go I need to let you know about a picture. special competition we have for you this evening. Yes. Guess that scream. This is actually one of how the station manager's from, like, better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to mm -hmm. play you a scream, then you call and <laughs> guess that scream. He's, he's we so annoyed. We need you to guess mm -hmm. why they're screaming. Why? Did they stub their toe? Saw off a finger, or uh, discover the corpse of a loved one. Jace. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream oh, in just a second. Tape, Listen the close, the and these? then call in to... Probably. Guess that scream. What? Hey, what do you mean, play the tape? Yeah. I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Oh, how Come on, exciting. I gave it to you yesterday. Did we not bring it? Uh, Forrest, you do have the tape we right. Probably didn't I don't bring think it. We you knew we were doing yet. this tonight. <laughs> Peggy, let's be real. Forrest is like, this is Guess that ridiculous. scream is a terrible I idea. No, I yes, I don't have the tape. What's it up, girl? It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... You have one too, Peggy. Uh, are you serious? I won't do it. I hate what I've become. <laughs> 
Are you serious? Really, Peggy? You want you want me to scream? Oh. You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do How it. Are they gonna guess That's what enough I'm dead air already. Not just anything. think of a scream and let it rip. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry oh, God. about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Mm. Mm. Here goes nothing. <laughs> the perturbed yeti. <laughs> what is? That? Like, Blair. I could guess oh, the other two, good one. but I have no idea what the perturbed yeti would be. What, which one would you like to click? Probably the cliff. I, I, the, the drowning is just going to be like, glug, 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 glug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's funny. Well, folks, there you have it. <laughs> Call in with your you guesses, and if you this get it right, so you bad. can win. Two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough. Listen, fried dough is delicious. Just call in at 555 yeah, 239 fried dough. KFAM fried dough. with your guess. Fried dough. Now, here's some music no, no, no. while you get dialing. Fried dough? I've never had that. I'll tell you about it some other time. <laughs> oh, music. Yeah, yeah, hit it. Ooh, should I introduce a song? Yeah, yeah do it. Now, time it's time to go with did the flow. Say that? And huh? this did is their hit, time Crying for Help. It said some will be timed, yeah. And then there was a little bar <laughs> oh, at the top that was God, going across. Forrest, that That's not amazing. good. amazing. It'll be fine. Thanks. <laughs> I can't waste to hear what people think steel. that was. I can't go wrong now. <laughs> How the hell did I get players, into this mess? <laughs> Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight the of my year. It's fine. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Forrest, Apparently. there's a call coming in. Oh. Call. No. Oh, okay, fun. Forrest, turn on, turn shut the, the music, music off. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm, I'm the producer. DJ, you can call man. me Peggy. Yeah. Welcome to 189.16. PJ. The screen. Caller. I like PJ. You're talking to Forrest Nash. <laughs> What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. What's up, Leslie? Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator oh, and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. <laughs> Are you calling to guess that screen? Slow night? <clears throat> Shouldn't you be working? <laughs> Shouldn't you be working? What do you think? That'd probably be what I'd say. I think we should do every other if it's timed responses. So you'll answer one, then I'll answer one, then I'll, you know? Sounds good. Okay, yep. so this is you. So should be working. Well, it's not timed, but... Yeah, but this is your... Oh, okay. All right, my turn. Yeah, shouldn't yeah. you be working? Like, they may not all be like, you're the timed one, you're the not timed one. Got Leslie, it. I've got to say I'm always happy to have a caller... But uh, shouldn't our 911 operator and police dispatcher be minding the phones? Yeah, Leslie. What? Oh, Forrest, you have no idea. Listen, I found a body. I need your help. Damn. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize your voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this Why is real. Why would she be calling us? Peggy, I'm not going to be happy <laughs> if this is a That's prank. A I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. <laughs> He's like, this is it's Forrest, I contract. really don't think this is a prank. Oh. Should we call the sheriff? Yeah. Leslie, That's what if I'm you're telling saying. the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? Mm. I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. The sheriff? What? The sheriff heck? Matthews is dead? Well, I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station Matthews. and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Or did you Do you know what happened him? to him? Maybe. Someone I got him. A suspect. Someone got up very close and... <clears throat> I really don't want to say what they did to him. Yeah, don't did he get fight us. back? I don't know. Off the air. I think he tried. <laughs> yeah. Surrounded by bullet casings. Where he gets censored. I yeah. think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... The FBC, right? Uh... FCC. Where are the other officers? I don't... I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or... or whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. <laughs> Deputy Martinez is here. But she's knocked out, Damn. tied up, and locked in a holding cell. Huh? I called you right after oh, I found her. In the beginning. God, wait. We got knocked out Please don't there. tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Mm -hmm. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. 
But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Ooh, Leslie, officers. do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie. Mm -hmm. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. Okay. I'll have to go there myself. Oh, let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come you? in to you. I think it's your pick. Hmm. I mean... Can't count on me. I'm just saying it's I, not. I'm a radio talk track. show host, Leslie. Yeah. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. <laughs> I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? He's upset. You're the only person We're who experienced upset. manning a phone line around here. You're I the only person equipped for the job. Mm. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. Uh. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows <laughs> Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, there are two work us. together. Yeah. They knew it. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. That's cool. I, I have an emergency. Oh, shit. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding that cell. true. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. Oh my God, There's so gotta man. be another way in. Um, I mean, you would think there would be more than one set of keys. Is that your final answer? Yes. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the you only one. Of course. Yeah. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Check the officer's desk. Why do I have the top one? Check your Matthews. <laughs> he would probably have him. He's a sheriff. He should have them. Why would they You're just leave wrong. him in a desk? Unless that's locked too, so maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. But you're gonna have to. Mm -hmm. One Very second. Ugly. She's doing it. Not oh, that that would be fun. Be sick. <clears throat> Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and. <clears throat> Please don't stare at me. Wait. Listen. I. Oh wait. Am nice. I Nice. It was the right choice. I, I, I think I got the cell keys. Nice. Looks like Sheriff Matthews yeah, might have saved the stuff. Can you make the wrong choice, then? Do the keys work? Can you make the wrong choice? They do. Know. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. Keep her lives right on the line. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Like I want to go back to Chicago. It's... I'm quitting, K. Fam. This is a prank. Uh, I think we can handle this. I think we can handle this. Everything's yeah. okay. That seemed to go we'll okay. See. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Yeah, same. same. Oh. Come have... on, Martinez. There we go. I have a feeling this is all I'm of our cards. just gonna cars. sit you oh, in your office chair. Calls. I'll head to my car in a minute. You think that's the only call? I'm back. Deputy no, Martinez is still out calls. cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. Okay. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Well, you better get out, Leslie. This is right. We're leaving. We're on our way. Why would we be on our way? No, we're on our own. Oh. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risks right now. Mm -mm. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean the it's heck? on fire? How, How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? It sounded like it exploded. Yeah, like Wait. A bomb. <gasps> what? No, no way. This can't 
Well, Boris, we have big trouble. What's happening? Oh, what's that, that noise? It sounds one. like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Look at Peggy's getting oh nervous. My God. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? Such that a mask. Shame. How the hell so, is he? Okay, Leslie's gone. Who? Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the fifties. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's what the hell? Oh God. Do you think Leslie's done for? Yeah. Do you think he attacked Sheriff oh, Matthews yeah, and Benny Deputy Martinez? Martinez? He's coming this way. No. Oh. Leslie, Obviously. stay inside oh, and lock the doors. No. Right. Huh? There wasn't a No, there was only one okay. choice there. I don't want to have a plan. My car's torn. We bad. need to think. Run for it? You can pick since I'm um, sorry. Um. Well, it's not timed. <laughs> I mean, you probably have to. You, you've got to leave. If you hide, he's just going to find you. The building's only so big. How should she go? Probably police cruiser. That'd be my my go, my go to. Also, if I accidentally click the wrong one, it's because I'm I already feel very under pressure. So, <laughs> so I apologize. In there advance. should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, happen. right? Like you should take one of those. I. Yeah, yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any. I mean, there is the possibility that he's just. just Reach into Waiting your pocket there, deputy, and yeah, yes. oh, that, that, one of that car blows up. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked mm -hmm. out front when I got here. Well, nice one, I mean, but, but realistically, thinking. if you try to run but, for it, and he's just wait. waiting outside. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Oh, that's a good idea. I would. Oh, it's your it's your choice. Yeah. What would you do? I, what, what's the difference? So, m what I'd say is... Oh, because the bullets are empty. I, well, I would take... Because there were shell casings everywhere. Yeah. You weren't going to say that, man. Deputy what Martinez surely that? carries a gun, right? <laughs> Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Fuck. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab Do it. I think the bullets are out? I... Shit. Yeah. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying oh, to defend Leslie, himself. Oh, I, it's our weapon lockup? I mean, there should be... Yeah. There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. Don't you have the sheriff's keys? But maybe yeah. one of these keys I got earlier Come on now, Leslie. Let no. No. None of the keys work. No, uh, shit! None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. I'm just waiting for him to break in. All right. I don't know. It looks like the whistling man either. left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold uh, one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Shit. Which should I taser, take? Taser, right? <gasps> oh, I thought that was the time. <laughs> I would take the taser. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's your choice. I would just say not the pepper spray if he's wearing a mask. Yeah. Taser. I mean, it's and gotta be the taser, right? How are you gonna use your right? force with a baton if you're carrying it. another person? I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez, Martinez and then... Wait. Should... Do you hear that? No. You don't hear anything? Uh-uh, I, uh, I hear nothing. Okay, so... What is it, Leslie? No. Tell us. I, I can't hear anything. What's the exactly. scoop? It's gone quiet. Oh, no shit. Knocking. You can do this one. <laughs> Why? Because mm, the last one was yes or no. Can you still see the whistling man? You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. No. It's too I don't quiet. see him anywhere. But I can see the car. Squad car three, it's right there. He's waiting just out of sight, I'm okay. sure. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <sighs> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? I mean, what else she gonna so, do, Peggy? Yeah. Here can't we just go. sit there all night. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Did they make it out? Yep, I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. 
Oh Good man. Luck. Good luck. This one's like <laughs> it's like good luck. I mean, I hope like, you good live. Luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be optimistic. Yeah. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. God, I that hope sucks. she makes it She's through this. Just for us. You know, I, I gotta I say, this is uh, really but... wasn't what I expected when oh, I came buttons. into work today. Well, they yeah, always they say do. you have mm -hmm. to be ready for everything in live radio. Yes, like a killer. Yeah, barely. Because why not? Or this type of responsibility. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. What? I'm putting the call through. Why? Hello? Oh. Forrest? Peggy? Yeah. This is Leslie. Yeah. Are you yeah. there? It's you, Over. Max. So you better be ready. Oh. <laughs> ten four. Is that what you want do to it, say? Do it. Ten four. That's a big ten four there, good buddy. I, <laughs> I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. That's shocking. Nice. The is he in the travel. back seat? Or a big blow up. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. There was some so noise she heard, moving. though. Jesus! You know? God oh. damn it! Get, yeah. get back! Get away from her! Oh. Leslie, Ooh, what's that happening? that goes so fast. No I didn't whistling. even see what it said. No. I just clicked. Get off her, you son of a bitch! What? No, oh, hurry. Dang. Drive. Leslie, drive! Was that my choice? I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 we're out of here. That's gonna F us up, man. Are you okay? <laughs> look at, <laughs> look at Becky. Are you okay? Did you get away? I didn't even see what the other options were. Forrest, that taser, definitely the right call. Yeah. Nice job. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Oh my god. Well done, you Leslie. You really have to you think saved a life. about the options. Just another day for you. <laughs> the timing oh one's god, like, yeah. won't. I hope I did at all. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Yeah, You're same. doing great. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. <sighs> it's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. The heck? Slightly less if I put my foot down. <laughs> we'll do your best. Do our best. You better floor it. <laughs> yeah. Should we say that? You want to say that? Do it, speed girl. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, oh. I think Deputy Martinez is starting Wakey, to stir. Wakey, Deputy. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Yeah, with some answers. Try oh. not to crash. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie! Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Jeez, are we just gonna get all the calls that this killer guy is? Apparently. <gasps> nice. All right. That's Folks, crazy. you heard it here. We've got a killer on That's the streets crazy of that they Gallows Creek not tonight. Made it. Please make sure they to stay safe. Time. And Leslie, we're counting on you. The whole town. We're gonna get gonna back to the, the show, meanwhile. Just if you have anything oh on your gosh. mind Broadcast or songs. have any information about this whistling man character and then give us a call your doors and windows. we'll talk here yeah on 189.16 the scream, the scream. for now here's another hit record for you oh. all to enjoy yeah let's relax let's take off slasher one because nobody likes right uh can that go back <laughs> uh yeah yeah, just, just, just throw it Toss somewhere. It. Toss it. <laughs> You're just like, uh -huh. it's not a frisbee, but it sure seems like one. Play a record, Forrest. Peggy. Yes. Time to go on the journey that is. Last processor with their hit song, 1980X. So now we're just waiting for calls. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. Apparently. This is actually I mean, right now insane. I think we're just bugging. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in yeah. four hours. <laughs> and then Forrest, we had our That's not steps. helpful. Hey, it's I know, gone. I know, See, I just... puts it away for us. <sighs> Who is this whistling man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Oh, Edward I mean, Marshall. Edward Marshall. Edward Marshall. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. Sorry, we can't hear Killed this. about a dozen Ooh. folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just... It's just... I and mean, he's come back tonight. I was gonna ask what happened to him. But okay. Yeah, that's a good question too, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of random. So we're screwed. <laughs> and he's come back tonight. Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point. Now. This is the 80s. And it was well, mm -hmm. 
it was so it's on been this 30 night, years. Actually. How old is he? The police cornered him. Why did he, he jumped start into the river. He jumped into the river and was just assuming he was dead. Oh, it's a copycat so killer. Dead? Probably. Dead? Probably. That would make What's a lot the of story? sense. What's yeah. the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. We'll do our best. Um, so we're screwed. <laughs> this could be your pick. I'm going to say we'll do our best, son. Okay. All right. Copycat or ghost killer. I, <laughs> I guess we'll do our best. Yeah. I mean, That's the probably spirit. A copycat. <sighs> probably. At least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday Dancing. after midnight? Could be Ford's around got some moves. 35? 35. This is all 3,500. Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that Hit large. It. No, 35 people at best. No. Ooh. 35 listeners. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say, are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? Are you serious? <laughs> we only have 35 listeners? Yeah, what 35, about it? yeah. It's a school night. It's a school night. <sighs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. I'm going to get it eventually. A little over a thousand? Keep trying. Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and mm. I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. <laughs> Before that. <laughs> well, Around five for most shows on the low the end. Call. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only I dream mean. of that. <clears throat> five million. Million? Jeez, yeah, five sometimes million? That's, that's just in. the way it Oh, goes. nailed it. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I They're guess. over here talking about the whistling man, yeah. and you're not. I guess we're gonna learn a lot shots. about perspective Priorities. tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. No. Call time. I'm, when you're ready. I'm not ready. I'm you're not ready. Time to turn the music oh. off. Okay, okay. Oh, all right. I'm What's scared. up? Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16. It's gonna be fine. Screen. Is everything uh, uh, all right? <sighs> that's attractive. <sighs> Who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? <laughs> I can do that too, guy. It's a prank. It's a prank call. Okay. What's your name and why are you calling in? <laughs> He's like, okay. It's me. I'm the next answer, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know my name. The killer's calling in already? I've come back from the dead to kill again. <laughs> no one's safe. Um, you don't have to do this. Do you accept requests? What the heck? <laughs> you don't have to do Jeez. this, Mr. Whistling Man. You don't have to kill again. Oh, but I do. But I <laughs> do. A sacrifice oh, to Oh, a sacrifice. Us. A sacrifice to us. I mean, oh shit! Me. She's dusted pretzels. You want cheese dusted pretzels? I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Ah, uh, <laughs> this guy. I'll Put your face off. Cut your face off. <sighs> Goddamn kids! Yeah. I'm cutting them off. Cut them off, hurry. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, cut him He could have said no. We're like whispering to each other. For anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out in the streets uh, tonight. Anyway, they're like, this next one's dedicated yeah. to all of you staying inside oh. with your doors and windows locked. It's David's Scopo. Scopo Moonlight. His turn. Put it on the thing. How do you forget in two seconds? <laughs> no. Do it. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Peggy. What the hell Peggy. was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. Mm. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. Yeah, that's messed up. pretending to be this, this whistling man the... character? The storyline of Scream. It's not, it's not funny at all. <laughs> and there's no chance they do that, that in the movie too. Just a prank. 
that Leslie... No, that... That's real. How do you know, Peggy? Huh? Christ. Is Let's she stay the positive. Man? We still have a show to do. <laughs> we already have another Oops. call around the line. <laughs> right. I don't want any more calls. Let's do this. This one was so, such a chill little yeah, song. It, it just got started and we gotta... All right. Who is it? Okay. What you got? So it's me first, I guess. Hello, mm-hmm. caller. You're live on the screen Those time with me, are so... Forrest Nash. What? I, I oh, no. I need the sheriff right away. All right. Okay, right. Well, go, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's yeah, your name? Up. What's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. <laughs> the cops aren't coming. <laughs> the sheriff is dead. <laughs> I'm they're, sorry. They're a little the busy at the moment, Sanders. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some <laughs> psycho dressed like the whistling a man is run. after me, oh. knife in hand. Oh, God. It's I, actually I'm happening. Scared. Uh, where are you now? Let's just get down to, like, where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere. <laughs> I jazz ran all the way to my car. I dropped your keys. Place. I got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Can you go back to find your keys? Sounds like you lost them. I think you can find Is there anywhere else you can go, right? Is there anywhere else? That's what I would say. Don't go back. Hmm. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? A diner? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. Oh, no. No. Oh. Better think fast if it's a timed one. Oh, he's back. Look, I don't know a thing about cars. I don't either. But I'm gonna start this engine without the keys. Hot water. And you're gonna have to help me. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 I don't. If it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. What? I'll call you back when I find it. <laughs> what? Okay. Listening to 189.16. Anybody know how to hotwire a car? Yeah, seriously. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and yeah. savior. Probably Sit tight among other while things the too. Pretty spins, soon. Folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> what does Sandra want to have? I think we almost played them all. That one we haven't Storm done. Storm Riders. Oh, it's red. How cool. Like her blood. Oh. That Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll the glam ride jam. with the Glam Jam. I don't have my glam hair on. I'm curious. Doesn't how the station gonna... have a show about cars? Yeah. The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. So... Really? They look the same though. I know. <laughs> they're not even related. It's weird. Can I asked them we... about it once. And they got really <clears throat> sweaty and defensive. I'm curious anyway, what these taste go see are. what you can find. Mm-hmm. The offices are out the door and <gasps> down the hall. We're leaving this? Oh, oh shit. Oh, all wow. Right. So they're all listening to that. Let's, I guess we go this way. What did you say? that door open. Down the, the offices hall. are down the hall. Oh, coffee. <laughs> Sandra, Sandra needs us to help we her hotwire car and you're concerned about getting some java just curious if you could make get it some java in you did i matter no okay Ooh, that looks spooky as heck hey, it's fine oh which way well just let's start walking we're gonna have to just walk and figure it out you can go everywhere listen Holy crap. you don't need to take a poop right now yeah but what if there's some important stuff i don't need to take a here. neither one of us needs a poop so many locked doors, so few keys. I thought I saw smoke. It's just little smudges on the Timberline Twin Lake Motors, I think. Now Wait, this has that's... to be important. Was that there before? Uh, borrowed maybe. Your car th- theft I borrowed your car theft magazine. Those huevos rancheros oh. aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. So it's at this? Should be at the... It's probably in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? I thought it was just gonna be on the chevos, chevos rancheros the huevos desk. Rancheros. Yeah. Excuse me. Looking for, uh, looking for a theft Ooh. mag. This looks useful. 
fix all cars. Oh, wonderful. Hard to read. No object tray. Place items Keyless in the tray techniques. to hold them all. Where the hell's the object tray? Is it oh, right, right here. there, yeah. How do you pull this? Boom. But it's the wrong way, so. Can you. How do you rotate it? I don't remember. I don't remember either. You, is it you click and hold with one side? Or like. I don't remember. Uh, oh. No, rotate is stupid piece of shit there. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> it's like Zelda. Oh, when you're looking at items? Yeah, the puzzles, some oh. of them. Yeah. I need it perfect to save see Sandra. See if it'll let you set it down like that. If it'll just kind of correct itself. No, oh, I think it did. Nice. S should we look at it now? <clears throat> yeah, so step one, use a screwdriver as a key if that fails. Remove the steering column cover. Check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. Oh, dear God. There's, there's a four, a four, a three, and a number seven in the number, red and blue. Oh my gosh, why? If, if there's a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five, green, green and brown. brown. If there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six, red and yellow. Ooh. Sandra, we're gonna do our best. Sandra, don't time us, man. Give us time and <laughs> we should probably be fine. Time yeah, us. I know. We're fucked. This is gonna be horrific. Step four, now strip the purple wire. Don't do not touch this live wire. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. If the radio turns on and won't turn off, cut the left pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wires. This will trigger the alarm. If the alarm is sounded, cut the triple braided green wire, not the double braided green wire, or the quadruple braided green wire. Doing so will mess with the electronics. She's dead. She's a goner. Everybody. Okay. She's a goner. This is... She lived a full life, okay? Ready? Yeah. To try? You find Ready anything? To... She jazz ran. Yeah. I found a magazine about hot right into the cars. afterlife. Well, yeah. that sounds perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Shit. Okay. Caller on line one. <clears throat> Thanks, Peggy. Nope. Yeah, yeah, just... We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The Scream. Oh, the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. Screwdriver, column. Tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Screwdriver okay. in the First. motion. Hmm. Right? It's yep, that's, the, that's step one. Hit the steering wheel with a hammer. <laughs> Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. Too fat, come on. It doesn't say what to do if that's. Screwdriver's too fat to fit. Shit. <laughs> what next? next? Okay. Uh, steering column. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Unscrew the steering column. Then hit the right. hammer. Jazz turn. Jazz turn. Jazz turn. Jazz turn. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Sandra sounds like fun. Yeah, same. Well, let's keep it in your chest. Tell me exactly what you see, right? Uh-huh. Do your yeah. jazz breathing, don't panic. <laughs> Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. We can do this. We're gonna work There's together. There's a red wire. A red wire. A blue wire. A yellow wire. A, a green wire. And a brown wire. Uh-huh. Okay, what's... Okay, serial number first. Mm. We gotta know that. What's the serial really number on right the now. steering wheel? <laughs> we can do it. The number is 576-894-320. It's not the middle one. 576-894-320. 576-894-320. Red and yellow. Red and yellow. Red and yellow. Same strip way. and twist together the red and now yellow wire. Start remembering that number. All right. We take the red and the yellow and don't touch the wire. And we turn. I want her to die from electrocution instead, because she touched the live wire. Okay, it's us. Strip the purple wire. Um. So strip it and then brush against the twisted wires. 
strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Hopefully the alarm doesn't go off. What does it say? Cut the, cut the triple V to green wire, right? <laughs> you see Peggy again? Fantastic work, baby. Yeah, but we're good then, right? come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. Get driving, Sandra, right now. We did it. Just keep driving, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep driving. I'm glad you're safe to lay off the jazz. Just keep driving now, okay? <laughs> we just need her to get out of there. Get home safe. Oh my God. Get home safe, Sandra. We'll do. I baby. think we're okay if it's not timed like that. Yeah, no, I was expecting it to I be timed. I did too. I, I was, was like, like so fucked. We did it, Forrest. Sandra sure Sharp did. survived. Here comes another hit track Fuck that yes. we're ja excited <laughs> to share with you. And remember, do the if you're also <laughs> having car troubles, oh, then tune we in to song, Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, oh Monday gosh. to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Is there, I'm so curious if everything we need is in the studio. I hope so. Yes. Ah! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I almost fucked that up. It's their hit song, The, the Word. Word. I still can't believe this is happening. Same. Thank you for Boogie That was fine. a good, Creek didn't already good have save, though. About. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? <laughs> She's like, I like it here, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sad place on Earth. You pick. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a sad place on Earth. I'm going with that. That's right, Peggy. Miserable. Jeez. It's a sad place on Earth. <laughs> well, I like it here. People are polite and uh, uh, yeah. Stab happy. Don't be awful. I didn't mean to you do that. that Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Shit. Oh god, it was just some folks have been okay. It's, I don't think we need to mention some folks stink. have been okay. You're not terrible, after a while. <laughs> not terrible after a while. High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean. Peggy. The timer starts to go, and I it's completely Forrest like forget Nash what it says. I don't I read. I'm just swell. watching that timer, and then anyway, I like just I hope jab the killer is done for the night. I mean, you jab at stab I hate so. it so much. Can we at I have least test call stress, off okay? that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, no, because the real one be a good idea. Gonna come through. Ooh, 1242. 1242. Been 42 minutes since we started. Caller on line one. Oh shit. Already? Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. You can pick. My him. name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian, Brian Ponty. Oh. Ponty of that was Ponty's on the thing. Pizza. I'm one of the desks. Uh, yeah. Hello, <laughs> Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. You're welcome. I've seen her a lot over the years. <coughs> oh, you're just looking Ponty's to keep your, uh, pizza. your uh, you sales high? You did a really mm. great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Thanks. Here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. This guy's taking That's some free really advertising. You. Yeah. You really don't have to, though. He's taking oh, some free advertising. Mm. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals. We'll have you eating for pennies. Mm. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, oh, the God. pizza we have is to yeah. die Peggy. for. Oh, 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 no, 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 poor choice of What happens if you click that? Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, buddy. Yeah, that didn't come out great. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. Yeah, that didn't come out great. <laughs> I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. Oh my God! I mean, right. I would think you're the killer now. Stabbing Our people, famous talking beer about. and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. It is the killer. You just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. Hang on, it. you're hang just up calling in to oh. advertise your shop. Yeah. Peggy, hang up on him. Huh? Done. Oh, 
real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. After that, no, paid ad from maybe? our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Not a clue. I do not. Can I know uh, how no. to play? No. Nope. In flight check time. <laughs> Christ. Our captain <laughs> would like to excited. remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. I think they go in Grab here. a cassette and stick it in the player. Which one? Probably. But not the one that we just picked up. Okay. So, yeah, that one. How about that one? Find out what the heck this is. Uh, the cassette player eject. is on the desk in front of you, just above the sound nice. blaster. There should be a cassette in the dock nearby. Girl, I got it. Done. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival mm -hmm. is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Broken Old Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Ricky's Roller Disco Lessons. Roll Ricky Roller Disco Crazy. Lessons. We got baby crawling, <laughs> balloon popping, balloons Whoa. for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe hey donkeys there. and ponies, apple bobbin, firearm, fireworks, funnel hey. cakes, fried gold oh, sheets, bitten sand licking, cracker yeah. cramming, and cat shop. Meow. Yeah. And fake tattoo, face oh print, gosh. puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, wow. square dancing, like story like, swapping, what? spelling bee, clipping bee, and dancing. so and like, circle, what did he say in order? lawnmower racing, hot dog oh, eating Jesus. contest, flower contest, and of course our hey, famous gourd right measure off. The festival is brought to you they, by they, Mayor they, Linda they Cartwright, one. sponsored Dear by Jesus. Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. By who, the whistle killer? No, because he's I new. I can see why it's world Dear famous. Lord. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. You got enough stuff oh, in there to I take up like sorry a whole to hear month. That, Peggy. All right, folks. Know why we need welcome crouch, back to the though. show. We have a note from my producer. Oh, do that's we? right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Oh, mm. baby. Let's see what our next caller Talk dirty to me. Welcome to the Scream with me. Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell. From yeah, Gallows Leslie. Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. Mm -hmm. Wait. Forrest Nash? Oh I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. Maurice. What? God, another one? I am 911. <laughs> <laughs> I am 911. You, you, you pick the next one if it's time. All right. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff oh, Matthews. If you want to act Sheriff up, Matthews I'm going to tell him, dead. yeah, that you yeah. can. What happened? Did you witness Who the, the hell incident? is this Maurice guy? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? Huh? I Maurice? I cite you as an anonymous source. Dude, we're on the radio. Uh, yeah. We're live on air. It's... We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Yeah, nice Damn going, it. Maurice. All right. There's obviously a lot more going Maybe on. Maybe you should listen to our know. show. Yeah, you, there's a lot that happening. Guy. You said someone broke in. Yeah. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke oh, in. Oh, dressed up. Dressed Are as you the sure? Whistling man. <laughs> Teen. Uh, sir. Yeah, we worse careful. every year. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye. <laughs> when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Sir? I don't think it's a teen. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. No, no, sir. It's a sir. stupid kid. Every sir. year this happens. They break in every year? They think it's mm. funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years the ago. terror? Anyway, I know for a fact, Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I'm gonna walk around with that name stuck in my head. On the <laughs> Why? What if he killed Sheriff Matthews? Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Okay. Upstairs. upstairs. That music's our cute. Got security cute. cameras I'm all scared. around the building. We're fine. You can watch them on nice. any TV you set. You Sandra. We'll save There's Maurice set too. In the boardroom. <laughs> Think you can take him? No. This one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, 
I sure as shit hope so, kid. Oh. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That, that crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking yeah, the stairs. Yeah, blocking you in. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's Jump right. Jump through the window. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do uh, from here Maurice is... sounds like he's screwed. Yeah. All we can Forrest, do from here is I think listen got to him it. die. Why don't we call the killer? Are you gonna call We'd have killer? a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And buy Maurice time. And get an exclusive interview with the killer. No. Buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch <laughs> hasn't killed me yet. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just yeah, we're trying, trying to make to sure he out. doesn't. Maurice. You yeah. realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? Do you have a better one? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. <laughs> Plus, a plan yeah, of Maurice. the entire office floor. Jeez. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Maurice is kind of annoying. Don't go anywhere, just hang out. Oh, is he faxing us something? Sounded like it. You, you don't think the killer got him, no, do you? No, I heard you? his freaking Mr. Russell fax machine. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, Second. Too. Well, come on, then, guy. Go check your fax machine. Yeah. Don't I know that fax sound down. anywhere. Do you think it's out? Out of the office? Probably. Oh. What, wait, what is that? More to do. That's what it said. More to do. Where oh, shit. Yeah. Go, Forrest. <gasps> The fax Fuck. machine is in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. I missed that one. We missed that one. Shit. Okay. Hopefully it was just being like... Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Hopefully Grab it was just telling Maurice. We're, we got it. Easy. We're on it. This must be it. Secret archives. Archives. Exit one. Exit two. Office space. Hmm, gotta get that book out of the way so we can. No. What'd you do before to like, ah. put this in your. Like, yeah. Just throw it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. Can't throw it. There we go. Jeez. That made an awfully loud noise. Mm hmm. Okay. It's easier to look at like this. So there's the stairs. Hmm. Where the heck did he say that he was? I thought he said an office, right? Well, here, put it... Put it back, and let's see... Can we talk to Peggy? Hey, did you get the fax? <clears throat> yes, I have. I lost it. Mr. Russell? Oh, shit. You, uh, it's fine, it's fine. You still with us? I am. My facts. Sure did, sir. Yep, you got it. Yeah. Was that my choice? I got it right here. No. Yes. Good. <laughs> I knew you could at least manage that, Fuck. sir. Okay, folks. I hope he gets you. We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Don't Here's try. the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. The boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. Where's the boardroom? Oh, right here. He's work. in this place. So. I'm ready on my end for right? it. Mm -hmm. Again, so he's we by want to exit draw the four. killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should is. I call? Okay, Shit. so... Um. Is he just upstairs? No, that's No, he's not upstairs. Okay, Everything's okay. on this floor. I... I think he said up to the boardroom and I was in the office next door. I think more yeah, because Maurice had to send us the fax, so he's mm. in the boardroom. Okay. Which means the dude is in the office space here. So we want to get him to go to the archives or the editor's. Probably office. the editor's office since that's all the way across. But then if he were to like turn around and look out, he'd see Maurice. So maybe. Um, archives. What do you think? Jeez. Well, it'd be the same problem with the archives because if you send him to the archives. Yeah. 
Uh, like, then if you tried to walk by, he'd be right there. I think probably the editors. Okay. Yeah. You think? Because then he's, he'll be, like, at least behind this if he can run fast enough. So you think editors? Yeah. We'll try it. Yeah. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when Why you're ready. Why would the killer answer right, the phone? Gosh. Where do I need to go? So... I would think um, the, the... I would say... The kitchen? No, it's not close to the yeah, yeah. Well, no, because the stairs are right here. So yeah. do the kitchen. And you can just... Because then if we have to call him again, like if he, go, if he goes and answers, mm -hmm. and we call him again, and Maurice is in the kitchen, then we can call him to the boardroom. Because okay. he hasn't been in the boardroom yet, because that's Hopefully. where Maurice has been. Yeah, 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 because he's in the office space. Uh -huh. So we'll tell him to go kitchen. Uh-huh. Gotcha. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. I didn't know you already checked there. Yeah. How the hell would we know? I'm ready to chase the call. This guy's... Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? No. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. So then we'll do the boardroom. Right? If we have to do it again. Yeah, if we have to call again, we'll call him to the boardroom after that. Oof. I can't believe it! Actually heading to my office. He's a dumbass killer. But, but it was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Nice. Then Better in the kitchen. My move. Better hurry. I'll call when I get there. Okay. Do you think he'll make it okay? This is sure stressful. Hope sure hope so. Actually. And now what do we do? Huh? This is stressful. We gotta find <laughs> some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh, fuck. Oh, call incoming. You ready? No. Which one? Ready. Oh. Ready as We're all not, though. We are. We got through. this. Alrighty. We already Mr. Know Russell, our next are you there? We're gonna I send am. him to the kitchen. I don't think he saw huh? What was the plan? Send the killer to the boardroom. Yeah. Send that, Maurice to where? The the archives? Uh, right. Let's review where we right? are. Right. So the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Oh, exactly. Uh, oh, he needs room. The furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Can you fight him? Maybe play dead. Can you lock Can him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you I time I mean, out enough, of those right? three options, Maybe, that was yeah. the best one. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. No, 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 no. The secret archive through my office. Yeah. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret Ooh. archive? <clears throat> Reggie would love that. Peggy, chill what have you got back there? Juicy secrets about <laughs> outer space? Aliens. Now's not the time, Peggy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now's not the time. Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Know your place, woman. We're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. I'm gonna get him. can get him in there, and I lock him in, we can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Catch him? That'd oh be kind of crazy. Forrest, we might be able to end or the nightmare Maurice right here. Yeah. yeah. So should I this. call the secret archive then? The, the, I was going to say they have the archive been a, is a room for extension. secrets, mm. not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're going to need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Mm. Uh. <laughs> uh. I would let let's see if there's a a radio in there. Okay, I was thinking that Maybe too. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but what well. is it? Our sports reporter Hopkins. Hopkins. <laughs> he has a little portable radio. He never turns off when he's here. Is it still in the office? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's 
what he calls his work room. Mm -hmm. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll so sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. Okay. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. So he'll be in there and what's his face is still in the editor's Heck, room. Heck, if this works, we might even yeah. save the whole town. Let's just, yeah, let's Don't make it happen. Let's just, yet. let's make let's it just happen. Keep saying. How can we fail? <laughs> Too optimistic. I mean, it's a plan with steps. Mm. Get the radio, plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. The third. Is everything okay? I found the radio. <laughs> it's right I found where the radio. I it it's, it's all coming He's together. Extra. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still That's got That's a bad idea, juice. sir. Do not do that. Nope. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want Dear that God. thing blasting just yet. Yeah, you nervous? Yeah, I'm going to make yeah, sure it's got juice. I'm yeah, like, this thing's about to die right here. That when you yelled at me. Yelled at me. <laughs> the radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off. <laughs> <laughs> He's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. We can try. Of course. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw yeah, the killer? Yeah, that's a good question. I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. Mm. Mm -hmm. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do yeah, that... Yeah, that's actually then... a good point. We yeah, can blast sure. some music or something. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Oh. Can you Do you know what that? it is? Shit. Hit the stinger, Peggy. What's. I don't know. I don't know if that's our station number. <laughs> I haven't been paying that much attention I to that. I haven't either. <laughs> Look around the room. Look around the room. <laughs> Should is we it... have her hit the thing? Uh, uh, is there. He's. He's a goner, man, if we don't know. Oh, we're screwed. I mean, Maurice is screwed. Is there anything, like, if you walk around the room? It'll go away if I go too far. Eh. Peggy. Do the Peggy. Get the stinger, Peggy. 189.16. Okay. Who was that? So all those answers were fine. Jesus funny. Christ. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Okay. So he has to get to his office. So right now, we're in the ar he's in the archives, yeah. and what's-his-face is in the editor's office. And he's going to the office. Uh, um, hang back on, to we, the gotta, we gotta think about what the next move is. Yeah. You know. Which he needs to go back to the archive, so definitely not that. Mm -mm. Kitchen or the boardroom. Boardroom's kind of close to the office stuff. Just the kitchen to be safe? Is that too close, though? I think, I think probably the kitchen, because yeah. that would allow us to get here. Mm -hmm. Or not us, but Maurice. To get to the editor's Office. room. Yeah. You think the kitchen? Yeah. Okay. Is that your final answer? Yes. Well, Maurice's blood is on your hands. Call the kitchen. <laughs> I was the wrong. extension is zero two. Uh, that could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Fuck. Are you sure? Uh. Oh, I'd have to make me second guess myself. Think about it. I mean, the the problem. Okay, I'll tell you the problem that I have with sending it like to the boardroom. Mm -hmm. The phone is right by the door. Yeah. So if this guy goes and answers the phone, all he has to do is look out the door. So when our guy walks this way, he's gonna be seen right there. Yeah. But if he already searched the kitchen, it's just a kitchen. Ugh. Well, what do you think, then, punk? I lean a little bit towards the boardroom, but I don't know how. Well, go ahead. And, go I don't ahead know if we're thinking we'll, ahead of we'll, it. Ahead we'll of the game We'll figure out which logic not. is right. Do it. Fuck. Call the boardroom. Do it. Or do you think make the call? You think? What do you think? 
I just don't know that Maurice is going to be able to get by the boardroom if the guy is on the phone right by the yeah. right so by the door. So let's just say the kitchen then. Okay. You sure? Fingers crossed. Oh, I'm sure. Fuck. Make the call. Okay. We're sorry, she Maurice. Prob- no. She probably asks you no matter what. We're sorry, Maurice. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Okay, hopefully. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Yeah, Peggy, don't don't talk. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'll call the killer in Jackass. What do you think? No, not kill. Not, not that. Good um, <laughs> do, do the impersonating Mr. Yeah, Russell. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. I'm going to do my best impersonation of Maurice. Hey, whistling man! Yeah, that's about to be What's so funny. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, pal. <laughs> uh, I'll give you an A. I thought that what? was really good. Who are you, Peggy? Here we go. I'm here. Okay. I set the radio in the... Oh. He'd already searched. Son of a... Fuck! That was on your yo hands. That was on your hands, yeah. guy. Out of print. He's gone. Gone. He's gone. Uh, we lost Maurice. Let's put on a song. <laughs> Give us some time. Yeah, to that was that was my fault. I think that would be for the best. That <laughs> was my fault. I think that folks. you were thinking way ahead of the we'll game. Be back soon. Don't you think a if little? If you have any stories Damn. about Maurice that you'd like oh to share, God. give us a call after this next track. They're just well, like, let's just play a song, fuck it. Yep. We messed up, it is what it is. Dang. Uh, Hope you enjoy this one. This as one much goes as out I to do. Maurice. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Yeah, I, I know. Really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. Uh, Peggy? I could ask you some questions Are you to high? speed things along. You're gonna interview me. Are you sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, you're we've been working so together scary. like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Dude, a week's nothing. Uh, maybe mm. I like being a mystery. What do you want to say? I'll regret this, hmm. but okay. I'll regret this, but okay. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy, that, that's too general. Can't okay. believe we lost Maurice. Did anyone move with I'd rather you not to Gallows talk about Creek? It. Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I. Do you have any. Let's get with it, Peggy. Come siblings. on. I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, well I'm done. Sorry, Forrest. Mm, that's how it goes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> did Why you did you do it? it? Was huh. it you, Peggy? Don't be sorry. I'm not. Sheesh. Oh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. <laughs> you were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Hmm. How would she know? Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. Case. <laughs> He'd been a wreck for a while. Uh. Then he got himself into a wreck. Oh. oh. Well, that was Dad. Okay, Mom then. didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. <laughs> so I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and Jeez. my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was just <laughs> Don't call trying me to Peg. be. I'll call you for. It's okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Oh, why? Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No, not I'm... anymore. What? I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Why not? Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Ew. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. No. You want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? <laughs> no way. Yeah, I'm I don't locked up tight She says no. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Shit. Gee, Gee thanks. thanks. Gee, thanks, Peggy. <laughs> she just was like, slide that under the door. Go, bye. Okay. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Who the heck could it be? The killer. 
Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. The stairs. Where were the stairs? Um. Down here? Hmm. No. Yes, they were. We're so, gonna die. I know, what the heck? Look at the shining carpet. Wow. That was ominous. We're really just gonna check a, the door. A tape. Tape? Oh! It's Maurice. Play on air. Oh, mm -hmm. God. It's Maurice getting killed, probably. This is cool looking, huh? Uh-huh. I wonder if you can interact with all this stuff, too. I wonder if we're going to interact with all this stuff. And there's an upstairs. That's crazy. Oh. <gasps> Jira door. I think this door just closed. Hmm. <laughs> I like swung like, yeah, aggressively. Just ripping that open. Okay, so I think we'll go tell Peggy we found the tape and then play the tape in the next one. Do you think? Yeah, that's probably yeah. a good idea. Or right here is a good good place to stop before we <laughs> even tell her, right? Yeah, yeah, no, let's mm -hmm. so I think that is a good idea. Let's go ahead and wrap it up and then we can just pick back up here. Mm -hmm. Um, cause yeah, you can see she's already waiting for us. She's mm -hmm. like, what's the news? What's yeah. the scoop? Close this door. <laughs> cause stuff has Carefully. been... Don't swing it. There very... You nice yeah, time. what the... Hey, someone... <laughs> <laughs> You're not... <laughs> not getting saved from anybody by Jeez. that door. But yeah, so... This has been Killer Frequencies. It's been very eventful. We like it a lot so far. I like it a lot. I'm yeah, kind of no, sad I, Maurice died, but yeah, it was my it was my fault. Okay. And you taunted was... me. You're like, oh, you want to do your this <laughs> and I was like, okay, we just, what do you want? Okay, well, my it's logic was obviously flawed. You know, uh, that was unfortunate. I trusted what you said, but I was like, oh, they're don't, right. Next time, and just then, don't trust me. No, I can't. I have to, I'm making wrong decisions left and right, man. Don't expect me to do all this timed shit. I'm just like, nah. But yeah, so far this is Killer Frequencies, part one of this game. And I hope you've liked it so far. I think it's fun. I hope we can save more of the town people. I don't know if we can. I'll do my best not to let anyone else down. And I really think this is Marie screaming to death on this tape. You know, that wouldn't be surprising. I know. But we will play it next time. And if you watched to this point, thank you so much for watching. And then we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>